Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I want to take you through easing, what it is, how to use it, and really what it can add to any animation. And that's what it's used for. It's used for animation. Any sort of transition you might have, rather than it just being some linear, you know, the same speed from start to finish, it can do all these interesting equations, okay? And this is usually what you'd have to memorize uh, if you're doing any sort of CSS transition. Instead of linear, you'd have to drop in the name ease in qubit cubic and you'd have to know what that looks like and everything but I'm going to do this all in edge animate and really ultimately it adds a lot of style to any animation so there's rarely an animation that I don't do where I don't apply animation easing to it now in this case I have this bird and everything in here is is div based so um, pretty much nothing's imported these are all divs I've created these birds and they actually uh, flap you can see them just like that he kind of flaps like that but really I want him to fly in real naturally and then rest on one of these lines okay so that's what I'm gonna do I'll have him start right down here he'll start there left and top position I'll scrub in um, you know about uh, almost two and a half seconds and move him into position because maybe he moves in right up here okay and that's when he reaches sort of the peak and I want him to slow down at that point but everything's set to linear so what I can do is select those as you can see those different transitions that animation and I can say hey you know what ease out so have it slow down and it's nice that I have this visual saying hey you know what slow down as it reaches its final resting place at the top right here okay in fact I'll even move it up a little more alright so that's what happens there actually I reposition that he will ease out just like that he'll slow down Okay, and then he will move down to, say, for instance, uh, this line right here. So he'll rest on that line. All right. So he'll slow down and then rest right there. Okay, so for this second part, notice as I select it, it actually keeps that uh, easing that I applied earlier. And I can always adjust that because in this case, I might want to actually ease in and ease out so it's gonna start off slow and then end slow as well so that's what the ease in and out does so hit enter he flies in kinda rests into place like that okay now we can do some fun things because what I want to happen at this point is I actually want him to drop down further he's gonna push those lines these lines down further so just for fun what's gonna happen is these lines here are actually going to have those coordinates that are going to be the same but I'm going to go ahead and turn on uh, basically the X and Y position and the make sure that rotations on so it's going to start there and then it's going to bend into place so at this point I'm going to adjust the rotation of that line like that okay so it's going to bend that line do the same thing for this line right which is the other line there, adding that keyframe and rotating that down as well uh, this direction and I'll just kind of eyeball it. In fact I'm just going to deal with the rotation just to make this nice and clean so I'll remove those and then it bends like that. So when he lands into place, say right there, he's then going to drop down like that and bend that line kind of like it's a bird on a wire so it goes down like that it still does that easing and that's fine but let's add a little more flavor to that and what I can do is select all of those various uh, tweens if you will and I can get even more exotic so I can come in here and I can say hey you know what for the ease out make it elastic or even bounce but elastic is what I want hit enter and then you can see him bounce like that. So let's watch it. I'm hitting the space bar, comes in, rests into place, and then he goes hard down. And that's usually what happens uh, with some of the more exotic easing. So you could just stretch it out like that and make the any other adjustments you might want, like moving him over. And uh, that should do it. So let's just go ahead and run this in a browser. Comes up, kind of rests into place, 
and he has that nice easing that nice that nice elasticity notice there was also bounce some others in there so i encourage you to check out what you can do with easing in edge and animate it's really going to add just a lot of style and really finesse to any animation that you're building